Good evening, and welcome. When we last left our friends, they had managed to leave Africa, gotten themselves into and back out of a rather sticky situation in Monaco, and met a ragtag group of circus performers. Upon hearing that this was a traveling show, our friends purchased the circus in hopes of it taking them home to New York. Unfortunately, that plan didn't pan uh, out hello, so well. Hello, monkey person. You are boring the players. They're not even going to play this game if you don't stop with all of the talking. Do you mind? Mind? No, not at all. It is my pleasure. What the hairy, boring guy over there was trying to say is the old circus, for which they had paid way too much money, was... <laughs> And the freaks were never going to make it home to New York. Which happens to them a lot when you think about it. Luckily, King Julian, that's me, was there to help those freaks. I teamed up with a very beautiful and hairy bear. And our motorcycle act was just a hit that was needed to make the circus a success all over Europe. The end. Actually, it's not the end. We've just started. You don't. But I thought it was over because I already told the story. No. Oh. <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> Did you see that, Morris? I made the paper fly. Well, it seems the idiot has left the building. Now it's time to see your circus. Go on, give it a try. Okay, I'm going to need you four to do some things for me between circuses. I keep track of them here on the mission board. The map will show you the layout of the city. It will show you where the thing I need is and the starting point. To get these things, you're going to have to help each other out. We'll try a dry run. Gloria, Marty, you're up first. Head over to the spot marked on the map. Ah, okay. You see that beam shooting up into the sky? That's where your objective is. Now, getting to it from here is tricky. But I think you guys can do it. All right, hmm. How to get in there, how to get in there. Gloria, go hop in that well. Good job, sweet cheeks. Alex, Melman, front and center. I'm sending you guys in. Head to the spot marked on the map. With their training complete, everyone was eager to return to Rome and get ready for the debut of the new circus. Of course, there was the small matter of getting people to see the show. And if there's anything I know how to do, it's throw a party. Or a circus in this case. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Shake what your mama gave you! <laughs> yes! <coughs> yes, it was actually the penguins who helped attract the crowd. You sat around drinking espresso. I could not have performed my important duties if I was all shrivelly and dried up. If I turned to dust... The people would be mourning their dusty king instead of enjoying the circus. Am I right? I'm right, right? You are, sir. <sighs> yes, I know, Maurice. I wasn't asking you. And so, the newly trained Circus Zaragoza was cast to perform in Rome. But little did they know that Animal Control Officer Dubois had followed them to Italy. I'm not going to dance around it, people. That last circus stunk like yesterday's herring. We're going to have to do something big to get the people back. The boys and I have a plan for a publicity stunt that'll knock their Roman socks off. We're going to need supplies, though. And that's where you guys come in. Alex, Gloria, front and center. First thing we're going to need is fireworks, and lots of them. I found a stash, and then marked the general location. Of course, you're going to have to work together to get there. Also, I'm going to need you to bring back as much scrap wood as you can find. There's a lot of stuff that needs building. So, get out there and make me proud, people. Watch it, people. It's 
the crazy animal control lady. Capitaine Dubois, run! It's Mango Madness! <laughs> I love the smell of escape in the morning. Way to go. Great work on that last mission, people. There's a spirit in you that's almost penguin-like. But we're not done. Not by a long shot. Melman and Gloria, listen up. We're gonna need some tools. I located a toolbox full of them. Bring it back ASAP. That is all. Hello? Wait! No, it's not. Hi. King Julian. That is me has heard that this Italy place has marvelous shoes. I usually avoid them myself because my feet are so attractive. But if these Rome shoes are so good, I think that I should have some. Ten pairs should do nicely. Well, what are you waiting for? My feet are cold! Go! Outstanding work! Well, sort through those tools while you... There you are! Where have you been? Don't you know there is something to do for the circus publicity thingy? Okay, freaks! Are you ready for a poster hanging party? I know you are! Just follow me as I frolic through the streets and throw my many mangoes! Slap a poster on the wall before the mango mush dries or it won't stick. See how that works. Kind of like a glue. Ready? Follow me! The posters, they were my idea, should attract all of the billions of Roman people to King Julian's amazing circus. If I may wax philosophic for a moment without being rudely interrupted. Great not so great. There's work to be done. Gloria, Marty, I'm gonna need a garden hose. Don't ask why. It's classified. Just get out there and find it. It's personal. Excellent. That hose is just what the doctor ordered. Okay, you two. Listen up. The boys have scattered supplies all over the city. Get out there and find as many as you can. You don't have a lot of time. But if you find a clock, grab it. We'll give you a little more time. Don't just stand there. Go! 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 All right, Alex, Marty, this is important. The boys have located the biggest slab of Parmesan cheese in all the world right here in Rome. Go get it and bring it back here. And, hello, cheese fetchers. Bring me ten more pairs of shoes. Make sure they fit this time. I've got bunions on my bunions. <laughs> okay, people. The boys have once again inconveniently scattered the supplies we need all over the city. You know the drill. Get out there and grab as many as you can before time is up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some cheese to eat. Okay. Time to wow the people of Rome. The boys have set up a stun area for you here in town. What I need you to do is go out and decorate it. Got it? Good. Now let's show off those decorating skills. That is looking muy bueno. Now what we need is customers. Get out there and work the crowds. Go to the marked spot and do your thing. Great job, people! That stuff doesn't bring the Romans to the circus. I don't know what will. We're ready to start the show when you are. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, your performers, Gia and Alex, Melman and Gloria, Marty and Stefano, Vitaly and King Julian. Again, you've been a wonderful audience, Rome. Good night! After their success in Rome, our circus moved on to Pisa, where our heroes... Pizza. Did you say pizza? 
Oh, I love cheesy, oozy, gooey pizza. It is my favorite. <laughs> but where was that famous leaning pizza tower? All doughy and oozing with cheese and sauce. Nowhere, that's where. He's so involved. Interesting, though. Pizza? I need pizza! Indeed. Moving on, then. Hey! What? <laughs> pizza! Our friends were now in Pisa, where they had a circus to put on. All right, people. Cheese I had in Rome ain't cutting it. I need a crate of tuna fish, and I need it now. Alex, Gloria, go out there and get it. And speaking of hungry, I must eat this tower of leaning pizza. Uh, that's pizza, not pizza. You can't eat it. Uh, you mean I skipped lunch for this tower of stone? Uh, I'm not gonna make it. Wait. Wait. I will make my own pizza tower. You will bring me 15 pizzas in addition to the penguin silly fish crate. I need to taste the cheesy goodness. What he said. And don't forget to bring back any scrap wood you could find. I can always use more wood. That tuna hit the spot. Now back to business. All right, you two. Supply time. Get out there and gather up what the boys have left for you. What we need to get the ball rolling on this next publicity stunt is a TV antenna. A big one. I pick Alex and Melman because why not? Oh, and lion person. Hippo, hippo, popo to person. Maurice and Mort are hard at work on my pizza tower. It's already leaning nicely, but I will need to spice up the decor. You must bring to me disco balls. Five of them will be lovely. Now show. I must return to the pizza tower before Mort eats the sixth floor. Good news and bad news, people. The good news is the publicity stunt is coming along nicely. And our TV reception has never been better. We have television. Also, the disco balls are extra sparkly and will look wonderful on my tower. Bad news is Alex and Marty got nabbed by animal control. They're being held at the marked location. Melman, Gloria, I'm counting on you to bust them out. It's Mango Madness! <laughs> Looks like she's gone! Good job! Nice jailbreak, people! I'll make soldiers out of you yet! Now this next one's gonna get a little prickly. I need the biggest cactus in town. Not like there's much of a selection. Pisa ain't actually the cactus capital of the world. But good luck! Alex, Marty, why don't you use those new jailbird skills of yours and swipe it for me? Mort! Maurice! What have you done? This is a disaster. Look, freaks. I'm going to need 15 more pizzas for a new tower. My construction crew seems to have eaten the original one. That's what I get for giving lunch breaks to the help. Ah, oh, I could only have done better myself. If you're through running around doing a lemur's job, how about we get back to business? Right. Now I'm gonna need an ironing board. Marty, take Gloria with you. Way to hustle! Okay, people. Those things the boys took time to scatter everywhere won't gather themselves. Get out there and bring me some supplies.
can definitely work with that. People, it's time to make that stun area pop. Get out there and decorate. Sweet decorating! Now get out there and make with the people attracting. We want a capacity crowd this time around. Publicity stunt time. Listen up. Go out there to the locations I've marked and impress the locals. We need a big audience if this thing's gonna work. Let's make it a show to remember, people. Alrighty! That's right! Hoo-wee! Yeah! Definitely a step to remember, people. Nice work. I wouldn't be surprised if everyone in Pisa shows up. We're ready to get this circus started whenever you are. Let's hear it one more time for your performers! Gia and Alex! Melman and Gloria! Marty and Stefano! Vitaly and King Julian! Again, thank you for letting us be a pizza your evening. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good night! Pizza Tower. I'm so filled with fond memories of your cheesy goodness. <laughs> and so, Circus Zaragoza was also well received in Pisa. But would they also be a hit in the city of Paris? They would soon find out. Ah, I love the smell of Paris in the morning. Smells like victory. And croissants. Gloria, Melman, listen up. First thing the boys and I need to get started on the new publicity stunt is hammers. A whole bag of them. I've marked the location for you. And as always, be on the lookout for scrap wood. We're gonna need a lot of it for what we've got planned. Hello, King Julian here. I have more beautiful posters. Which I have designed, of course. Hang them wherever you can while you search for the penguin's dumb hammer bird. If you're done hanging your little artwork, you know, I could use your help. Okay, this is just silly now. Now, you might think this is dumb. Dumber than a bag of hammers, even. But I don't need you questioning my master plan. Now, what I do need is a box of rocks. And just so you don't have to search all over France for it, I've marked the location. Alex, Marty, get on it. Wait, France? Paris is in France? I just must sample the famous fries of France. I hear they are delicious. You must bring me as many of these French fried treats as you can find. Enough of that. Get over here. We have work to do. Speaking of which, Alex and Melman. I'm gonna need an aquarium. An empty one. Fish are a distraction the boys don't need right now. Now get out there and find it. Okay, time's a-wasting, people. Get out there and get me more supplies ASAP. Nice job, people. Give your neighbor a pat on the back. Whoa, these fries of France are really marvelous. You really should try some. Some of your own, of course, not mine. I already had to stop Mort from stealing mine. Speaking of which, I need more. As many as you can find. Hold on a second, your pushiness. I've got a mission for him, too. Goya, Marty, I need a statue. A statue of a cowboy. It took the boys a while to find one that wasn't wearing one of those Napoleon hats. I marked the location for you, as always. Get them up, move them out. Chop, chop. Great job. Everything's going as planned. 
Well, except that the lion and the tall guy got themselves caught by animal control. But that's just a minor setback. Gloria, Marty, you go and spring your buddies. The boys and I will keep working on Operation Lay Publicity. Oh, the animal control lady returns. Again. Better run, people! Looks like she's serious. It's Mango Madness! <laughs> Looks like she's gone! Good job! Well, I'm pleased to see everybody safe and sound. But we're gonna need all hands on deck after we pull off the publicity stuff. Time to pound the pavement again, people! Those supplies out there are waiting for you to find them. Now get going! Chop chop! That'll do! Nice work! Alright, the boys have the stun area ready. Now get out there and decorate that sucker! Now time for some fancy footwork and such. Go out there and get those people begging for a circus. Alex, Gloria, it's up to you to bring in the crowds. Head out to the marked locations and do whatever it takes to get those people to follow you. Well, that should do nicely. Okay, people. This one's all about Marty and Melman. We're doing this uh, publicity stunt at that tower thing that everyone's always taking pictures of. We're gonna start far way up the tower. Now put on a good show. Good luck. We're all counting on you. Oh boy! Go, man! Yeah! Now you people never cease to amaze me. That stunt's got every man, woman, and mime in Paris talking! We can start the circus anytime you're ready! My friends, your performers! One more time! Gia and Alex! Melman and Gloria! Marty and Stefano! Vitaly and Again, people of Paris, bon nuit! So the Paris Circus was very successful, and next our ho, friends... Ho, ho, ho! Look at me! I am a mime. I can't talk! Way, way! A croissant! A blah, blah, blah! Finally! So the Franks left Paris and went to the next city, which was London. Uh, Julia, I think that's the wrong city. What? I can't hear you. I'm a mime. <laughs> I... Oh. <sighs> Where was I? Oh, right. We went to London. King Julian, that's the wrong one, too. So? We... That one's wrong, too. Oh, now come on. This is so unprofessional. But so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> Maurice! Maurice, you have to try this! <laughs> the Paris Circus went off without a hitch. The next stop was London. All right, people, we're in London now. And one thing everybody needs in London is an umbrella. Marty, Melman, go get me a brown and white one. That's very important. Don't ask me why. It's top secret. London. Does that mean no more fries of France? This is terrible! Maurice! What do they have in London that they can make the freaks get for me? Maurice! You better get a move on before he gets back. Excuse me, but this is far more important. Maurice has informed me that there is a new drink in London called... Tea! If you bring me ten pots of London tea, I might invite you to the fancy tea party I have decided to throw for myself. <laughs> so go, bring it to me! That's one fun umbrella you boys brought back. I feel drier already. Hello, freaks! 
King Julian has decided to throw a tea party and invite everyone important in all of London. The tea party host, that is me, has marked the doors the crustiest of the upper crust. All you freaks have to do is deliver the invitations to the market doors. Got it? Good. Ah, oh, I could only have done better myself. Well, now that His Highness is done with you, we can get back to work. Next step, we need a bag of charcoal. We located one that's not too soggy. Alex, Marty, bring it back. Dead or alive. Time for a splash of color. I need a bucket of green paint. Now go and get it. And rather predictably, I need something too. The entire royal family has accepted my invitation for tea. Ten more pots! Don't mix it up with the paint. Even though I thought it worked just fine last time, Maurice insists that that's not how green tea is made. Now we need some pizzazz! Sparkle! Nothing says sparkle like sparklers. A case of them should do nicely. Eventually Dubois is gonna give up. But apparently not at the moment. Go! Hi, King Julian here again. My tea party is overbooked. So I had to make it a royalty-only event, you know. Since you freaks are common types, you are no longer invited. But thank you for the tea. You know, now that I think about it, I should have just had the boys bring the stuff here, instead of scattering it everywhere. Hop! Ah, hindsight's always 20-20. Just bring me the supplies as usual, people. This last one, folks. Boys are all set up. Decorate that stun area like our ticket sales depend on it. Marty Melman, go to the designated locations and wow those potential customers. Get as many as possible to follow you. Way to hustle! Let's make this one the best one yet. Make those people cheer. And make them want to buy tickets. Nothing puts butts in seats like a good publicity stunt. And that was top notch. London, buzzing about the show. We can kick off the circus whenever you guys are ready. Thank you so much. Once again, your performers, Gia and Alex, Melman and Gloria, Marty and Stefano, Vitaly and Julian. Again, ladies and gentlemen of the British Empire, thank you and farewell. Let's take a quick look back, shall we? Star ends at the attained shores of Madagascar. Yeah, and all then... my parties made the freaks so happy. And then went to Africa, where they found their roots. I got to ride a pink feathered horse and make friends with the volcano gods. Oh, finally, they reinvented a rundown circus. Where King Julian fell in love with my big headed, hairy, lovely lady bear, Sonia. Hey, where are you going? But all the while, our friends longed to return home to New York. And finally, they had made it. There was only one final performance before they could return to their lives at the zoo. Little did they know that Dubois had followed them all the way to New York. Hey, what's going on, freaks? Various beings of New York. Let's give another round of applause to Gia and Alex, Melman and Gloria, Marty and Stefano, Vitaly and King Julian. 
Kent. New York, as you say in the vernacular? Too strong. Have a pleasant evening. I have you now. So, Dubois was defeated. The circus was once again a rousing success, and our friends had found their true calling in the circus. This was their real home. No, go away, Mart. I don't want to go home. <laughs> Stop it! That tickles! <laughs> And here we are on the road again. What further adventures await us? Only time will tell. Thank you for playing. And good night. Huh? You are still here? Maurice, they're still here! You said they'd be gone when I woke up! Oh, why but the king do everything himself if he wants it done right? Go away! It's over! <laughs> <laughs>